In this scenario, we have a student holding a book a few feet above a table at rest. So here is the book. And the person is going to lower the book. So we can see immediately there's a change in height and we should be thinking about gravitational potential energy. Now normally what happens when a book is lowered or dropped from a particular height, the gravitational potential energy will be converted to kinetic energy. But we're told that it's lowered at a total, at a slow constant speed. So we don't have any increase in kinetic energy. So we want to know what accurately describes the change in total mechanical energy. Now the total mechanical energy is the kinetic energy plus the gravitational potential. And since it's a constant speed, the kinetic energy must remain the same. And as it's being lowered to this height, we know its gravitational potential energy decreases. So the total mechanical energy must also decrease. So if we break the answer choices down into their clauses, we have total mechanical energy unchanged. That's false. We know the total mechanical energy must decrease. So just simply knowing that the total mechanical energy decreases gets us to 50-50. These two agree on decrease. Now we need to look at the nature of the second clauses in each of these cases. The person does positive work on the book. If positive work were done on the book, then its mechanical energy would increase. And what we see is, although its kinetic energy remains the same, its gravitational potential energy decreases. So it looks like this is simply false. Let's look at our last choice. Because the person does negative work on the book by exerting a force on the book in the direction opposite its placement. So this is definitely true. There is a force being exerted in the opposite direction of the displacement. So here's the force. This is the displacement, delta Z. So that's true. And it's doing negative work. This thing should be gaining kinetic energy, but it's not because of that negative force. And for that reason, this is the correct choice.